this example, let's pretend that I want to be able to create a mock-up and I want it to be this on my main home page and then I want to have three buttons. So basically this is a mock-up of a website that I want to create because I want to create images of women of color in family, tech, and beauty. What I want to happen when I click on one button is that other images are going to show up right below it. So again, I'm going to have in my home page just three main buttons and then I'm going to click one of these buttons and then right underneath that button that I click, stock images are going to show up. That's basically my mockup. Now, how would I create this? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new um, layout. So actually, let's do it from scratch. So you open up a PowerPoint, the first thing you want to do is that you want to change the page setup. You want to change it to a vertical setup because it's just easier to work with and then when you actually think of websites, the websites are vertical, not horizontal. So we delete everything and we start with a blank slate. Now, as you just noticed, the image that I have here is um, a woman using a computer. I got this image from typing in Woman who, woman, um, woman of color in tech. So W O C in tech, uh, and then you just go online to them. They have an entire database of pictures of women of color. So you basically just find an image you like, and then um, right here, there's a button that says download. You click on it, and you click download. I wanted to download in the original size. Size and then you download it here and then um you take that picture and you drag it over over to the powerpoint the powerpoint in the powerpoint you can really just drag and drop an image and once you drag and drop an image you really are just able to just do whatever you want with it and then as you can see here on the left side, you can basically get a preview of what is happening to the image or what that image is going to look like. You can also see the end result by clicking on this button right here. So this is basically what the um, last image is going to look like. Perfect. So we get that. The next thing that we want to be able to do is that we want to create some text. So the way to do that is if you go home, and there's a button here that says text and you click text text box and you basically drag it as big as you want that text box to be so i want it to be that big and then i say woman of color images now and then i click um command a i'm on a macbook so command a and i change the font so i want to do a terms in woman and i can decide how big i want it I can also decide whether I'm whether the alignment of that image, and I also want to make it in bold. Um, I can also decide whether I want it to be this way, but I wanted to really expand that, so I want it to be just like that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create boxes that are going to be in the places of the images because again, this is a mock-up. I really want to be able to get a, a visual of what this is going to look like. So I get rectangles right here, and I can just whoop. There you go, drag and drop. Let's see that I make a rectangle this big. I just copy and paste three times. Now, a really cool thing about Microsoft is that you're just able to just really highlight and then really change all of the all of the different elements at the same time. So I could just drag and drop and then just really change all three of them. And then as you can see, there's like these lines that show up. They help me align all my elements so that I can just really center everything. There I go. Perfect. I have three quote unquote buttons that I'm using. And now I want to be able to put some text in them. I'm going to type in family. I'm going to type in tech. And I'm going to type in beauty. So I want to create three buttons that when someone clicks on them, it's going to show you images of women in family tech and beauty women of color in family tech and beauty i want to make this a little bit smaller perfect and now i want to be able to change the font color to black perfect and i also want to have it i want to have the same font throughout fantastic 
So I now have three images, three buttons. Anyway, next what I want to be able to do is I want to create some tinier button, maybe like just smaller. Copy, paste, and just really paste them throughout the website. Again, this is just to get a visual, and then I can just really copy them all. Copy, paste. Fantastic. There you go. And so I can just duplicate this. And then I have a visual of my home page. And then I have a visual of what I want to happen whenever I click on the button. So I click on family. Boom, nine images. I click on tech. Boom, nine images. And so on and so forth. And this is basically how you would create a mockup on PowerPoint. Okay, bye bye. Do you know me, Mama?